guys, today's lab, we are going to be seeing if what we are looking at is a physical or a chemical reaction in the bag. The purpose of today's lab is to identify the physical properties of two different chemicals, as well as observe and describe the evidence of a chemical change. Safety precautions that should be taken must be taken anytime you're in the lab is your goggles and aprons must be worn. Wash your hands at the end of the lab. And the disposal for this experiment will be very simple because it becomes neutralized at the end. It will be safe to dispose of it in the trash. The materials needed for this lab is a Ziploc bag, a pipe cleaner, two different chemicals, one called calcium chloride, CaCl2, and another called sodium bicarbonate symbols NaHCO3. We'll be also using phenol red indicator. You will need a pipette, two scopulas, one for each chemical to avoid cross-contamination, and a thermometer to indicate if there's any temperature change. So first thing we wanna do is create a pouch with our Ziploc bag that we have two separate compartments. And that's where we are using the twist tie or the zip lock. And you wanna make sure that you can have both compartments open. And one side, that's where we're gonna go ahead and put in the first chemical. Using the scopula, I'm gonna go ahead and put about five scoops of calcium chloride since we're doing it in a large scale. But what I want you to do first is I want you to record three physical properties about calcium chloride. Here I've got some on the watch glass. You wanna look at it a little closer. Tell me three physical properties. Now, if you need to recall what it is, what are some examples of physical properties, you can refer back to your journal. But remember, a physical property is a way to describe something that helps it be specific. Anytime you're reading a scientific article, scientists use physical properties to describe whatever they find. You don't wanna use examples. You wanna give just the facts. On the other side of the Ziploc bag in the second compartment, we're then gonna go ahead and add about five scoops of the chemical sodium bicarbonate. And just like you did for the calcium chloride, go ahead and tell me three physical properties about this chemical. Now the third chemical that we are using is called phenol red. As you can see, I've already said one physical property about it. Go ahead and on your data table, tell me two more things about phenol red. Make sure to use physical properties that are unique to it. So now we're going to go ahead and see what happens when we add phenol red into each 
compartment. We'll start off with the CaCO3. I'm going to add enough phenol red into the CaCO3 just to cover up the chemical. On your data sheet, go ahead and record if there's any evidence of a chemical change. Now let's do the same thing. So the second chemical, NaHCO3. I'm gonna repeat where I'm gonna put just enough phenol red to cover the solid. Rinse off my thermometer to avoid cross-contamination. And go ahead and write down if there's any evidence of a chemical change. Now we're going to go ahead and release the pipe cleaner. And we are going to seal the Ziploc bag and allow the two compartments to combine. In your observations, using complete sentences, go ahead and indicate if what you are observing is a chemical change or a physical change. 